Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and I've got an interesting video for you today. Every once in a while, a product comes along and it'll catch your eye, it'll catch your attention, but you'll know that the claim that they make isn't real, but you'll buy it anyway because you want to see what it's all about. And that's what this item is here today. This is the Bowblaze solar panel kit. They claim that it's a 100 watt monocrystalline off-grid system for RVs and boats. Comes with a 10 amp pulse with modulation charge controller. This is a very inexpensive charge controller, but it will get the job done. Does have load terminals. It's not an MPPT. This is probably maybe a $10 charge controller or something. This whole kit I purchased for around $40. I'll put a link in the description box down below because they offer several different options with this same solar panel. In fact, you can buy the panel by itself if you don't want all this other stuff. So the next thing we see here is a bag. And in here, we'll take a look and see what we have. Looks like we have some directions. There's a user's manual. So here's the user's manual with some safety instructions. Talks a little bit about the product features, the LCD display, and feel free to pause if this is something you want to read a little closer. We'll open it up to the next page. Kind of a diagram there. And then right here it's kind of telling you what the what the display will cycle through. Over here is some information, troubleshooting guide, there's some technical parameters of this inf of this uh, product and then of course on the back we're going to get into different languages. So we also have this little this little card here that is a user's manual and this is pretty basic portable solar panels gives you a little bit of a rundown on it this is showing you basically how to hook it up if you want to use a charge controller a little bit of information there and then some warranty card information and then again on the back we're just going to repeat in a different language so then you get this bag and this bag is full of accessories that go with this panel so we'll start off with two little carabiners. That's in case we want to hang this panel up. You have four little suction cups for putting this thing against glass or plexiglass or something like that or on a smooth surface. Maybe on the top of your vehicle or you know, glass or something like that. You also have uh, this is a five and a half millimeter by two and 2.1 millimeter I believe this is the adapter uh, this plugs into the panel itself and then it has wire that's stripped on the ends so this is so that you could plug the panel into the charge controller okay so this goes from the panel to the charge controller but you'd want to connect the charge controller to the battery first so we got the five and a half uh, by 2.1 to alligator clips if you wanted to use this off of the charge controller, you could just cut the wire right here, cut this little adapter off and just wire it in that way. Or you can come directly off the solar panel with these alligator clips and put, put sunlight voltage directly into your battery and use it as a trickle charge. So very cool. You also have a 12 volt accessory plug. Okay, so you got the five and a half by 2.1 to the 12 volt and it illuminates it lights up when you have voltage here so when this is hot with voltage it has that light so you know you're doing something so pretty cool it comes with all these accessories charge controller like I said a second ago it's very basic you do get two USB ports which is pretty cool 
some of the specs on this panel and this is where it gets funny they claim that this panel is 100 watts there's no way that this little panel is going to put out 100 watts it reminds me of a flexible panel very very uh, small very lightweight it's a little bit flexible but you don't want to flex it too much because if you flex it too much you could crack this thing so on the back side you got the little five and a half uh, by 2.1 millimeter female adapter okay and that's what all this stuff plugs into so for example if you wanted to plug this directly into your battery you just plug that in and then now you're charging your battery right there directly other thing that I like about this panel is it has two USB ports right there on the little controller there it's got two USBs you have a regular one and a fast one and right here in the center there's a little see that little indicator illuminating when you're in sunlight that little red light really lights up and you can see when this thing's working now it's got the little grommets and this one has, was damaged from shipping so if you see that right there it's kind of damaged but it does have the four little areas where you can hang this thing you, maybe you want to hang it over your backpack or something you're hiking this is a little big for that but something this large would do pretty well pretty cool I would probably hang it with the USBs facing down I'd probably hang it like this that way if you get any rain it's gonna shed away from the panel now this panel does have an IPX5 water resistant rating and that means it can withstand light showers light pressure spray from any direction so that's why I'm saying I would suggest putting that down so that you don't have if I mean if they're up they're gonna be collecting water so you wouldn't want that so I would hang it like this if I was gonna hang it on something where there's gonna be water but it's a nice panel I've used it a little bit already off camera and it's pretty cool so I'm gonna give you the rundown on the specs they say that its maximum power output is 100 watts I completely disagree a thousand percent there's no way that that little thing is gonna put out a hundred watts I think personally that it's false advertisement it does say open circuit voltage is 20 volts I'm looking at these notes here it also says that the short circuit current is one and a half amps so that means uh, if you've got the 20 volts uh, and you multiply that by one and a half amps that gives you 30 watts 30 watts is the absolute maximum that I think this panel could put out but if you look at the maximum power voltage is 18 volts and you look at the maximum power current which is 1.1 amp you take the 18 volts you multiply that by 1.1 amp you get 19.8 watts so in my opinion this is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 watts to 30 watt panel somewhere in that neighborhood I would probably call it a 25 watt panel if it was me personally it does have USB outputs like I showed you get 5 volt at one and a half amp charging so very cool the temperature rating for this panel is uh, 25 degrees centigrade which is 77 degrees Fahrenheit I don't know what they mean by that if it's uh because here in northern Arizona we get up 105 108 and I'm pretty confident that this panel will still function it's a pretty solid looking little panel we're looking at the the name it's bow blaze solar panel kit 100 watt monocrystalline off-grid system for RVs and boats there's no way this is hundred watts well, I think it's a good panel for the money I really do even though they're putting this big old claim that it's a hundred watts there's no way absolutely no way it's a very light thin panel it doesn't weigh nothing it'd be good to throw like on the boat or something like that you want to go out and you want to charge a cell phone I love that it has these USBs on it I think that's fantastic and it's not gonna break the bank you're looking at about 40 bucks for for this one and you can get it with a 10 amp charge controller 20 30 all the way up to a 60 amp charge controller they're all pulsed with modulation they all look like this 
but you can get them in different um, amperages. This one here, I'm going to just show you that sticker real quick. So hopefully you're being able to read that sticker. This is the charge controller PWM that comes with the unit. It does have USB support and it also has load terminals which I like. And the terminals are fairly good sized. It's just a very basic extremely basic charge controller just to get you up and running so as you can see we have clear blue skies we're coming on down and you can see the panel here if I move this forward you can see the red indicator light that's showing me that we have Sun coming in I have two USBs coming out of the back of this and I am currently charging two GoPros simultaneously. This one's at 73% and charging and this one is at 99% and charging and then right here I have this little module and it's telling me that we are producing 4.79 volts and 0.19 amps. That's what's going to that GoPro 7. So that's pretty good charging two GoPros simultaneously that's pretty impressive off of this little panel okay so the GoPro on the left got finished charging the one on the right is still charging so I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna plug it in right here I have a battery charger plugged in so hopefully this will come to life pretty soon there you go you can see it coming to life I am pulling 4.87 volts at 0.2 amps so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in a couple flashlight batteries these are 18650 batteries and as you can see I'm doing this one-handed so I'm charging two 18650 lithium-ion rechargeable batteries simultaneously and I'm still charging my GoPro over here now if I disconnect the battery charger for example and I want to maybe charge my phone I'll just get this wire here we'll plug my phone in there it goes 64 percent so very nice and the cool thing about this is you can do these things simultaneously if you need to this this panel has plenty of power for doing little devices like this very impressive my final thoughts on this panel are very simple it's a very lightweight panel it's flexible but it could be easily damaged if you're not careful with it and it's not even close to being a hundred watts so it's a false advertisement as far as I'm concerned on that ad but it is a good panel I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find this panel I think it's good if you're looking for something extremely lightweight that does pack a punch this could be a good option for you I love the fact that it gives you the ability to charge via a 12 volt cigarette outlet or alligator clamps to put on your battery I think that's fantastic and I love this little indicator plus the fact that they've added USB support to it I think that's wonderful I hope you enjoyed this video and with all that being said folks thank you for stopping by I hope you have a beautiful day we'll see you next time bye for now